The owl net is made by weaving a shape with basic weaving and tapestry weaving. You should have some experience weaving with a DIY weaver before making the owl mat. On lionbrand.com, there are diagrams available to help you along the way. I've placed my pegs according to the peg placement diagram, and I've printed out two copies of the owl chart. One owl chart is to sit beside my loom base, and one I've cut out to fit underneath my warp. The owl is warped in three sections, starting from the ear tuft down and across to the right ear tuft. For my warp, I will be using Woolies Thick and Quick in gray marble. I will begin to warp as I normally would, with a slip knot on the left peg for the left ear tuft. Skipping the wings, I will warp across the center pegs of the owl, ending with a slip knot on the right ear tuft. If you want to secure your yarn ends, just add an extra peg to keep the yarn away from the working area. Next, the left wing will be warped, making sure to end on a peg from the left ear tuft. It's okay to have two wraps on one peg. Warp the right wing in the same way, ending with a slip knot on a peg from the right ear tuft. We are now ready to weave the weft. For this project, I'm going to be using the needle weaver since I'm working in smaller sections. The wings and center belly are each woven separately from the top down. The slits between the sections will be sewn together after you're all finished weaving. I'm going to start with weaving the wings. You can either weave the left or the right wing first. These sections are worked with Woolies Thick and Quick in the color charcoal. Starting from the top and following the owl chart, I'm going to weave the wing following the instructions for basic weaving. As you weave your shape, be careful not to pull too tightly along either edge to distort your fabric. Use the comb to keep the weft straight. I've worked both wings and I'm now continuing on in the center belly with Woolies Thick and Quick in Fisherman. You can see that there are slits forming in the fabric between the wings and the center belly. Continue in basic weaving as you finish the bottom portion of the owl net. I followed the owl chart to weave the face and eyes working in tapestry weaving. Now I will continue with Woolly Sick and Quick and Taupe to finish weaving the remainder of my warp. When you are close to the top, just use your fingers to lightly press down your weft. Be sure to keep your warp strings on the pegs.
Remove your weaving from the loom base and embroider the eyes, feet, and beak with Vanish Choice in mustard. Weave in your ends. Remember to go to lionbrand.com for more weaving how-tos and design ideas.